Hello, this is Chaudhary Mahmood Anwar. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I am going to tell you how to conduct an objective assessment and uh, how to construct an objective scale by using the uh, Google form. Well, if you are interested to investigate uh, intra-individual differences, then you have to use objective assessment because you cannot use normative assessment technique. So you have no option other than to use objective assessment technique and uh, you have to develop an objective scale. To develop an objective scale in uh, Google Forms, write in your browser google.com oblique forms. When you will enter, this web page will appear. Now you need to, to log in into Google Forms by using your Gmail email ID credentials. After login, this web page will appear. You will click here on the Google form. After that, you will be uh, redirected on Google Forms. Okay, now you will click on start a new form. This is the new form. You can simply title your form. Here you can write all the instructions you want to provide to your respondents on uh, how to fill this form. This is the form. To make an objective scale, click on multiple choices. Here you can see various response formats are available. You will click on checkbox grid. So this checkbox grid will appear. You will conduct two rows. Row 1, row 2, and rename it. And you will make four columns 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now you can see four columns. This is the title of the question. You will write uh, your main question here. So, what I am going to assess in the example, I will use this uh, research paper. This research paper uses a uh, few traits. Here you can see proactive personality, period of self-efficacy, knowledge sharing behavior, and effective states. Let's say I want to assess the intra-individual differences of my employees or students. So how you will create uh, an objective assessment. You will you will pick one statement for one trait. I will pick one statement uh, for proactive personality, one statement for creative self-efficacy, one statement for knowledge sharing behavior, and one statement for effective trait. These are the items available. I will pick the items from these scales. For your ease, I have already developed an objective scale. You can see here, this one. I have named it sample form. I provided the direction to my respondent. Please only check one most preferred option and one least preferred option. This is the question. I am a kind of person who in rows I have mentioned most preferred option and least preferred option. In columns, I have given the options. I am a kind of person who, number one, excel at identifying opportunities. Number two, good at generating novel ideas. Share work experiences with my co-workers. And number four, always afraid at work. Option number one indicates proactive personality. Option number two indicates creative self-efficacy. Option number three indicates knowledge sharing behavior. And uh, option number four indicates negative affective state or neuroticism. This is how you will create an objective scale. This is a complete example of an objective scale. Now I'll tell you how this scale will look like. Just click on preview. See this. So very beautifully designed sample form. These are the instructions to your respondent. I am a kind of person who excel at identifying opportunities, good at generating novel ideas, 
share work experiences with my co-workers, always afraid at work, and these check boxes are to indicate most preferred option, and these check boxes are to indicate least preferred option. For instance, my respondent, my student, indicate that uh, good at generating novel ideas as his most preferred option and always afraid at work as least preferred option. When he will submit the form, you will get uh, the answer sheet in Google Forms, but I'm not going into that. Simply try to understand that uh, how you will assess your respondent from these answers. You will assign two scores to the most preferred option and you will assign zero score to the least preferred option and you will assign one score to remaining option. This one unchecked you will assign one score and this one is also unchecked you will assign one score. So always remember that you will get a constant if you will add all the options. For instance, here are two scores for most preferred option, zero score for least preferred option. So one score and one score for unchecked. So two plus one plus one four. So you will get four. What does it mean? It means that the degree of freedom is M minus one. M is the number of scales. Here the number of scales mean you are using one option for one trait or for one scale. So scale number one, scale number two, scale number three, scale number four. So the degree of freedom is M minus one, mean four scales minus one, four minus one, three. As I have told you that you will get a constant when you will add all the options provided in an objective scale. This leads to a problem by violating the classical test theory and the violation is the error variances of objective scales are not independent. So this is considered as a violation to the classical test theory used uh, for instruments and uh, scales. So now you can easily detect that your particular respondent is high in creative self-efficacy. This is how you will work with objective scales. I hope now you are able to create objective scales by selecting whatever options you want to explore within your students or your study sample or your subordinate, etc. I hope you liked um, this session. Thank you very much for watching this video.